Professor Anthony Flew, who preceded Richard Dawkins as the world's most notorious atheist and who wrote 23 books attacking religion, came at the end of his life to a firm belief in God because, he said, the arguments for God's existence have become stronger than they ever were before and he had to follow the logic of his arguments wherever it led him. That had been a fundamental principle of his doing philosophy. It is clear that the philosophy of religion has undergone a substantial renaissance in our own time. When I was a student at Oxford, I was very conscious that in the 60s, philosophy of religion was very much a fringe subject for both theology and philosophy. It just wasn't being taken seriously. Under the influence of A.J. Eyre's logical positivism, a large number of scholars believed that talk of God was not merely false, but utterly meaningless. Now, however, the situation has fundamentally changed. Logical positivism has collapsed and Marxist atheism has also collapsed. And people are less inclined to believe that Freudian interpretations of religion stand up. This has led to a significant increase of interest in the philosophy of religion across the world. According to the latest five-volume history of the philosophy of religion, one general observation seems secure. At the close of the 20th century, there are more societies, institutions, journals, conferences and publishing houses dedicated to philosophy of religion than any other area of philosophy. Such a finding would have been unthinkable 50 years ago. The same thing is true in Russia and China, despite the fact that in both cases they had had decades of atheistic propaganda pumped into them. Yet, after the fall of communism, in 1991, I was invited to Moscow to speak on the reasonableness of religious belief. A few years later, I received a grant from the European Commission to help the Department of Scientific Atheism in the University of Leningrad to change itself into a Department of Religious Studies in what was now known as St. Petersburg. Similarly, in China, I received a grant from the Templeton Foundation to research religious belief in China. With colleagues from seven universities and 300 assistants, we found that in China, 56.7% of the population still believed that they had encountered a power which they could neither understand or explain and which they were quite happy to identify with a religious entity or force. We also found in China that from being a banned subject 20 years ago, philosophy of religion was now the most popular option in philosophy degrees. My father's book, Verdict on Jesus, comes with a fascinating history. It offers a new approach to the life of Jesus, based not simply on what he said and did during his own lifetime, but on the impact his life and teaching have had on all subsequent generations. 